Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Disney Springs. The Hangar Bar is crafting up some Jungle Cruise themed cocktails and snacks to help celebrate the world premiere of the movie. And I decided to come out and get a couple drinks, eat some food, do some shopping, and enjoy an afternoon at Disney Springs. Anywho's, let's go do this. Looks like they got a nice photo opportunity in front of AMC. I like this one because they added this little Jungle Cruise sign. Normally it's just the backdrop, but they're getting a little fancy with this. If you have seen the new Jungle Cruise movie, let me know in the comments. Spoiler free though, I haven't seen it yet. I was thinking about trying to see it, but the world premiere was just yesterday, so I'm not too sure if I'm gonna be able to get a ticket for AMC, but I am gonna try. And if I can't, at least I'm gonna enjoy some Jungle Cruise drinks and snacks from the hangar bar. Like that's a good, that's a good runner up. While I'm here, I might join the virtual wait list to get in a Gideon's. I would like to try some more of the cookies and maybe a coffee or two, but who knows how long the wait could be. I'm glad I signed up when I did. It's a 140 minute wait. So now we're on a virtual wait list and we can walk around and come back. Maybe we'll head right on into the hangar bar since it's right next door. And I kind of love that. I love the fact that you can just go about, you don't have to wait 140 minutes to get coffee and cookies. Like that's a really good positive thing. Right here is the hangar bar, and that's where the Jungle Cruise cocktails are. And also, if you've noticed, mask on at all indoor locations. This just started, I think, the same day the Jungle Cruise movie premiered. So we're going to have to put our mask on once we get inside. But there might be a wait. We might have to do another virtual wait list. They said it's going to be about a three minute wait, so I'll take that any day. Sometimes you have to wait like 45 minutes and they don't do like a virtual wait list. You have to be in the area for them to call you. And a lot of people sometimes don't hear their names and they get skipped over. So if you want to get in the hangar bar, you got to stay put. The hangar bar is the perfect spot to actually have Jungle Cruise themed drinks because it all ties into the Adventurers Club and the Society of Explorers and Adventurers. And I just love the theming in here. I love Indiana Jones. Oh, is that me? Yay. <laughs> I love the theming inside here, and I love the music too. It is so amazing. It looks like they've got three special cocktails just for the Jungle Cruise, and then two different entrees. They have a flatbread and then some potato skins. So we're gonna see if we can get the most that we can. I mean, I don't know if I can drink and eat three cocktails, but we'll try. Here is a look at the Jungle Cruise food items. Forbidden Eye Brazilian style skins, smoked sausage, sweet potato, four cheese blend, and a quail egg. And then they've got a flatbread, the Everyone Duck Flatbread. Duck confit, goat cheese, and then red pepper and olives. Ooh, I think we'll try both of those actually. I love how all of the items have a play on words with the Jungle Cruise. Like the drinks, I know one of the drinks is a sleeping zebra. And if you rode the Jungle Cruise, you know what I'm talking about when I say sleeping zebra. But they all do, even the duck. Like I really, really love that. Speaking of the drinks, they have the sleeping zebra here, Bailey's Irish Cream, Rum Shrada, Stoli, and then half and half with chocolate sauce, and then the feeding frenzy. This one looks the coolest. Oh wow, that is a lot. Oh, it comes with little candy fish. And then the Haluga Hibiscus. Oh, we're definitely gonna try as many as we can. I think we're gonna start off with the flatbread and the potato skins. It'll be my first time ever eating a quail egg. And then also we're gonna get the uh, hibiscus and the feeding frenzy. The feeding frenzy looks like it's gonna be kind of like the most frenziest. <laughs> the most frenziest. And here is the freeding, the freeding. Freeding, <laughs> freeding frenzy. We gotta make sure we, we yeah. stir up our fish and we come our water. Oh. Look there at that. Isn't that so cool? You gotta chum up the water. <laughs> okay, the feeding frenzy might be my new favorite drink. You have to chum up the water to like get all the feeding frenzy to happen. That is so cool. It's like pineapple with grenadine in there. That is gonna be a delicious drink. And now the other drink is coming out along with the uh, food items. So we got like the total package here. Here is the feeding frenzy aftermath. And take a look at that. Isn't that gonna be such a delicious drink? And then the Haluga Hibiscus, which is the Haluga River. And then we've got the duck flatbread right here. And it has goat cheese on it. I'm not a big fan of goat cheese, but 
I can't wait to try it and just see what it's like. And then, of course, the potato skins. And look at these bad boys, they're like staring at me. And I've never had a quail egg before, so I'm very excited to try all of it. It all looks really, really cool and adventurous. The first thing I want to try is the feeding frenzy. Oh, it's gonna spill on me, but I'm going right in here. That is so delicious. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I want to eat the candy. I think the, the fishies uh, floated down to the bottom though. They did, they all floated down to the bottom. Look, it's kind of funny because once you pour that chum in there, they get their food and then they're out of here. Oh wow, this is gonna be such a great drink to finish up afterwards. I like how the glasses kind of are like, you know, tilted to make you look like you're like, Rrr. Now I'm gonna try the everybody duck. I, like I said, I, I don't like goat cheese, but I might like it on this, who knows? We're gonna take a little corner spot here. That is very, very good. I really like it. Now I didn't get a lot of goat cheese. Actually, there's not a lot of goat cheese at all. You definitely get to taste a lot of the roasted red peppers, but I like the crust on this. This is really good. And they do mix and match on the flatbreads. I don't know if you guys know this. It is $9 for one or two for 16. So you can come in here and get a nice selection of flatbreads. I think they have like three other different types. Now I'm gonna try the Huga hibiscus. And this is an actual hibiscus flower on top. I'm pretty sure that is edible. So I might be eating this flower a little bit later on. But we're gonna put it in the drink just to get a little flavor. And then we're gonna give it a sip here. Ooh, that is good. That's refreshing. Oh yeah, this is the winner. I like that. It's, I like the mint in there. It's like very refreshing. Now, the feeding frenzy is very sweet. But like that is like the complete opposite. So, you like sweet or refreshing? That's the way. Now it's on to these bad boys right here. And you know what something's crazy I just found out? These are regular potato skins, but then they have like sweet potato mash inside there underneath the quail egg. Oh boy, I'm excited to try it. I'm gonna <laughs> eat my first quail egg here. I'm always super nervous trying something brand new that I never had before, because you never know how the reaction's gonna be, but we're gonna find out now. That is really, really good. Holy moly. So good. Once you get that after bite and all that potato in there, so good. I lifted up the quail leg to give you a look of everything in there. That is so good. I wasn't expecting it. I was actually a little afraid, but so far everything is delicious. I'm gonna put the quail leg back. Look at it. <laughs> and plus I gotta crack that yolk. Now I'm gonna break into the yolk. Look at it. It's a little a little yoki, it might be joking with me. I really, really love these. I like these a lot better than the flatbread. I'm gonna have to finish up the feeding frenzy to get to the fishies at the bottom there, unless I get a fork and then I fish them out. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> when I said that this is like a sweet drink, it's not like super sweet though, it's very subtle and they have fresh pineapple in there and I'm really liking it, but the haluga hibiscus probably, I, I like that a little bit more, it's more my speed. All right, we're going fishing. We're gonna get some of the fishies out here. There we go. Oh, look at it, there's actually a lot in there. I want the red one though. Yeah, there we go. Got the red one and then we're gonna take the hibiscus flower I don't know if it's edible, but it looks like it is, and we're gonna try it. I like how I'm putting it on a plate, too. We don't want that ice. Get out of here. There we go. First things first, the flour. Look at this. I'm so excited to try this. Okay, I guess we're just gonna throw it in there. I don't know if there's any stems or anything. Okay. Mm. It's like a fruit. That is very, very delicious. Now I want to try the fish. It is a little slippery sucker, so I'm going to use the fork. Look at it. It's hard to even get on there. I don't know if these are just gummy fish or if this is Swedish fish. Mmm. 
Swedish. <laughs> Just about finished up the frenzy. I have my hibiscus left. I finished my potato skins, but I kept one of the quail eggs because I wanted to top it with my everybody duck flatbread. And now we got a little bit of a combination. Combination everybody duck quail egg. And take a look at this. I'm able to score some sweet coasters from here. Cafe Noir, the Python Bar, the South Seas Trading Club, the Atomic Cafe. Isn't that awesome? I love these. I'm gonna keep these and cherish these forever. Everything was so good here, but I think it's a perfect thing to do, especially if you plan on coming to Disney Springs to see the Jungle Cruise. You know, come here beforehand, pre-game it up, and then go to AMC and then enjoy the Jungle Cruise. I'm going to head down there. Uh, I looked online. It looks like most of the shows are sold out, only because it's a very popular movie. Uh, and if not, I'm sure I will eventually watch it. I could watch it on Disney Plus if I need it, but I kind of like going to the movie theater. You know what I mean? What do you guys think? about that do you like the fact that you can watch things on Disney Plus now or do you like it that like I like going I like the theater experience so we'll see that was much too good and we didn't get our call back yet for Gideon so we might just hang on this area for a little bit I feel like I was in there for a good hour but they did say it was like two hours so maybe we don't have to hang in this area I mean we can get a lot done in an hour if we want it the main reason I wanted to go into Gideon's was to get the iced coffee. I tried it last time I was here and I really liked it. So we're not gonna get coffee anywhere else, but we can find other things to do. I do wanna stroll up to the world of Disney to see if they have the Haunted Mansion pet dishes. I think Gracie needs a new food dish and that Haunted Mansion one's been calling her name for a while. I also might want to get something else to eat a little bit later on. The food that is at Jock Lindsay's is basically like snacks. Like they gave you two potato skins and the flatbread was, uh, it's, it's very tiny, but that's why it's actually not that expensive. I think the uh, flatbread was $9, you can get two for 16. And I believe the uh, two potato skins were $8. So they're $4 a potato skin. It's a little high, but it's like a delicacy. It was very, very fancy with the quail egg on there and then the cheese and the sausage and the sweet potato in the actual regular potato so like a little little snazzy a little snazzy potato gonna continue our way up to the world of Disney and like I said I really want to find that Haunted Mansion uh, pet food dish I don't know if it's only sold at Memento More but it might be here because they have a whole entire pet store here at the world of Disney well not at the world of Disney at Disney Springs it's actually located in the co-op section and uh, yeah they always have good stuff there I normally like to get Gracie her vest whenever I get one for her there and I don't know it's always nice to browse around you never know what you're gonna find in there right inside here the co-op is where they have the Disney pet store and I gotta put my mask on it's called Disney Tales luckily it's really nice and cool in here but I just noticed I really went all in on the blue today blue mask <laughs> blue fedora, blue headband, blue shirt. I'm looking, I'm looking blue. First thing I spot though is these pet costumes and look at this. There's a pet costume of Abu riding magic carpet. How amazing is that? This is what Gracie's gonna be this year I think. I think that's hysterical. And then they also got Flounder here too. Oh. I don't know if Gracie would like that because this is like a costume costume. This just rests on the back of Gracie's back. She would totally love this. I feel like I need to get it just to test it out. And here they are, all the Haunted Mansion things. And there it is. That's the bowl. Look on the inside. Here it is. It says, feed me foolish mortals. And then the outside, this is just a wrapper, but it has the Haunted Mansion like paper on there. This is going to be so beautiful. I can't unwrap this one because I didn't buy it yet. But when I get home, I will show you exactly what I'm talking about. So there we go. Haunted Mansion Gracie Dog Food Bowl obtained. And I only needed to get one because uh, I would like to get her a matching set. But she has a water bowl that is just for her. And she will never drink out of anything else. She will drink out of anything else. But I don't want her to drink out of anything but this water bowl. So when we get home a little bit later, I will show you. And hopefully Gracie will eat out of it. I'll have to put something good in there. <gasps> Maybe we'll get a cupcake. And I definitely will be getting this for her once we get closer to Halloween season. 
she is definitely gonna be I don't even know what it, what she would what would she be the air like she's not the magic carpet oh maybe she is the magic carpet oh wow so yeah we're definitely gonna get her one of these but not till a little bit later now let's start making our way back down near uh, Gideon just in case they call us our name but I'm so happy we found it I've been looking for this probably for at least a good two weeks maybe and she's gonna love it <laughs> Not sure if you guys know this or not, but Gracie is named after Master Gracie from the Haunted Mansion, which is kind of funny. We were going to name her Leota, but I think Gracie just sounded so much better. I mean, because Gracie's a guy and Gracie's a girl, but you know, Gracie's a guy and Gracie's a girl. You know what I mean? I think Gracie sounds better than Leota. Since I've already committed to getting Gracie or her new dog dish and I want to show you guys later when we get home, I definitely am going to stop and get her a cupcake. I feel like that'll be a new tradition. Anytime I come to Disney Springs, I'll bring Gracie a cupcake home. It's a little pup cup. You'll see what I mean. I, I did it like twice already in the videos, but she loves them. It's right over here at Sprinkles. Like she loves these little cupcakes. I think this time instead of going into Sprinkles, we'll use the cupcake ATM over here. This is so cool, it's such a celebration. And I can already see they got the pup cup right here. Pup cake, I keep on calling it a pup cup. So we're gonna select one pup cake, one pup cake. So two dog friendly sugar, oh so it comes in the two packs. Thank you, perfect. And we're gonna check out. Are you a Sprinkle Perks member? No I am not. I'm gonna pay with a credit card. All right, time remaining, okay. I gotta, there we go, should be done. Let's see. It says five, four, your purchase is on the way. Look at this, isn't this so cool? <laughs> Don't fret, door will automatically reopen if cupcakes remain inside. This is so awesome. Oh, your purchase is ready. How cool is that? Let's just take a peek see to make sure, oh, I don't want it to close on my hand. Oh yeah, there they are. Little tiny cupcakes for Gracie Go. She's gonna love it. I love it. I love sprinkles. <laughs> that was really cool. They give you a little song and dance when you get your cupcakes. I'm kind of a little sad I didn't get myself a cupcake, but I plan on getting something from Gideon's. She loves these cupcakes, and it's the only thing that she can get here, really. I mean, edible wise. Sometimes you really got to stop and appreciate how beautiful the springs are here though. I love how the wind is kind of blowing the water right now. I would love to go for a swim in there. That water looks like so perfect. Now it's time we're going to hop back in. It's our return time for Gideon's. And like I said, I'm excited to get myself a little coffee. Then we'll head on down near the AMC area. See if we can get a ticket in the Jungle Cruise. If we can't, no big deal. I always love the smell of Gideon's in here. Oh, as soon as it hits you and there's no sunlight. It is so crowded in there and the hype is still alive. People will wait. So I got in line and I waited uh, just around two hours and 20 minutes in a virtual queue. And then once I did, I waited 25 minutes in a regular line. And I ended up getting the peanut butter iced coffee this time. Last time I got the regular one, they said there's cocoa powder on the top, so gotta mix it around a little bit. Oh, it feels so cold. This is gonna be great. This will be my first time trying it. Now, my friend Josh loves the peanut butter iced coffee, so, you know, I, I went on his recommendation here. Oh, that's good. That is a good, good iced coffee. Wow. <laughs> and I'm so thirsty. I kind of like slammed it down here. But it is so good. Wow. It's not too peanut buttery. Just the perfect amount. On top of my iced coffee, I ended up getting myself a candle and a cookie. I got a pistachio cookie, but we're going to eat those later with Gracie because we got cupcakes for her. So this will be much later in the video, but I'll bring you guys along and let you know what I think. I never had the pistachio before, but now I'm excited. Now I got my bag full of goodies. I think we'll head back down to AMC and see if there's any open spots. I don't think there is, but I'm going to check just anyways. And uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. Oh, I think it's a negative on the tickets to go see Jungle Cruise tonight, so maybe we'll just watch it at home. But one thing I noticed, the vending machine that's selling face masks has like one of the longest lines here. That's very strange. 
since I'm down here by Disney style though, I do want to see if they got any fancy new shirts in there. So I'm going to mask up real quick and hop in before we go. I seen a couple of cool shirts when we were looking in from the outside, but once we get in there, it looks like there's no line anymore either. So we can just walk right in as long as we have our mask on. I like these BFF shirts right here, Fox and the Hound, and also Al's Toy Barn. Look at that. These are really cool shirts. I do spot something that's really, really cool and I haven't seen before. I've seen the Casey's Corner dress, but I've never seen the Casey's Corners like uniform shirt. Look at this. This is the jersey. How much is it? $69? Oh, $59.99. But it looks really, really cool. I really, really like it. I don't like the low hanging neck though, but this is a really cool jersey. Number 95. Even though there are some cool things like that Casey's Corner jersey, I would love to get it, but I don't know if I would wear it because I don't like how it like dips down on the, uh, the neckline there. So, I mean, I usually like to have my top button button. Isn't that weird? I mean, I do take the top button off sometimes. Oh, look, I'm not even using the top button on this shirt today. But, I mean, I don't know why. It's just one of the things that I do like. So, anywho's, we're gonna go home now. We're gonna give Gracie her pup cakes and show her her new doggy bowl. And then also I'm gonna eat my pistachio cookie. Looks like the escalators are temporarily out of service or are they just temporarily stairs? I kind of feel like it's the same thing. Okay, so I made it home and I always want to surprise Gracie and I have a little doggy cam so I watch her to see like where she's at in the like in my apartment but I live on the second floor and uh, every time I walk up the steps to get there I think she can hear me and she runs out to the kitchen so I'm gonna like creep up and try to catch her off guard and surprise her when we get in there. Yeah, what? I got good stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah, good stuff for you. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Where are you going? What? 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 Are you happy to see me? Huh? What? You want a snack? Huh? You want a snack? Who wants a snack? You want a snack? So here is Gracie's food area. She's a very messy eater. Oh, yeah, we got you a new thing. So this is her old dish. That's going to be the... Uh, Haunted Mansion one and this is her water dish and I love this because it's from 101 Dalmatians look at that it's from Alpo too and it has all the Dalmatians so she's always drank out of this and I always keep it for her but this is gonna be the old one and we're gonna replace it with the new one she knows I got something good for her you know it don't ya who's a good girl oh yes good girl okay we'll get it together this is such a cool dog dish. And I'm taking the sticker off and watch when I peek it off here. I'll show you, I'll take a little bit right here. Look at that. Oh boy, I don't know how to get it all off. I might have to wash this off. It's like a sticker sticker. I don't understand like the sticker wrapped around it. Is it to like prevent it from getting chipped maybe? But I can't get that sticker off. Like I'm gonna have to scrub it off. There we go. Now I think I got it all off. And look at this. Isn't that amazing? I love it. And I think Gracie's gonna love it too. So we're gonna put our little cupcake in there. Feed me, foolish mortals. <gasps> there you go, that's yours. Come and get it. <laughs> she just picked it out of there. She always turns it over and eats the bottom of the muffin first, always. Look at that. I don't know why I like seeing her eat. <laughs> I have no issues with watching her eat because she does that to me. Every time I try to eat, she will stare at me. Do you like the new dish though? Huh? You're already eating all. Get those, get those cupcake crumbs. Get them right here. I see them on the carpet. Was it good? Oh yeah, it was good. I love you. <laughs> Now it's time for me to try my cookie, and also I'm gonna light my uh, Gideon's Coffee Cake Cookie Candle. Let's see here. Light, oh, there we go. It, it has been lit in. This smells so amazing, and I don't know why, it gives me like Halloween vibes. Now I got my candle lit, I'm gonna pull out my cookie, I'm gonna flip it around, the pistachio. 
Look at that. You can see the pieces of pistachio on there. Oh, this is gonna be so delicious. One of the things I've noticed about these cookies is they can be very, very messy. So you actually have to be careful. So I'm just gonna take a bite and then I'm gonna grab a plate probably. That is so, so good. I love these cookies. And I probably would say this is my favorite one so far. Only because I love pistachios. Oh, I just dropped a little pistachio there. Anywho's, I think that's gonna do it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. I am gonna sit down and watch Jungle Cruise now. I decided to uh, just kind of hang out with Gracie for the night and uh, we're gonna get it through Disney Plus. I hope it's worth it. <laughs> But I guess, you know, I, I would have liked to went to the theater, but right now it's so busy. It's Saturday night and the theaters are busy and, you know, people thought they were going under after the pandemic, but no, too many people enjoy the theater and I would have much rather seen it at the theater, but it's sold out. So, uh, until next time, bye.